in any city, anywhere in the world, go to a church. Stand in front of the crucifixion until someone appears behind you. They can feel a presence of evil around you, so this person may be clergy. However, it may not, but this person will assist you in finding the holder of awe. He or she will lead you to a sidewalk bench and you must talk to them about your religious beliefs, even if you don't have any. This person will be very interested in what you say, but when they talk, listen with all your might. It may save you. Ask this person to see the holder of all once the conversation dwindles. The clergyman or woman will then take you back to the church, but it is now empty of all furniture and light. They will lead you into the darkness and hum a hymn or two. You will eventually end up at the crucifixion at which you started earlier. A rumble or growl behind you will catch your attention and fears may run through your head, but do not turn around. Stare forward into the darkness and maybe you'll see a glimpse of faint light. If you do not, that rumble will seem a lot closer and the clergy may be gone. When the clergyman or woman is done with their hymns, light will return to the church and a booming voice will fill the massive room, shaking the foundation on which you stand and calming the rapid beat of your heart. This voice may be the most pleasant you've ever heard and you will be amazed by its sheer power. It may even perplex your mind, but do not let this voice take its full effect. Keep your mind wondering all the while. You must ask this voice if it is spoken from God's own lips. If the voice begins to laugh, may your brain turn to liquid between your ears before the church goes dark once more. If it answers, Yes, I am the Lord. Leave this church and go home. You have been cleansed of all your wrongdoings, and your previous travels are wiped from your memories, as are the objects. If the voice answers, No, I am far more vengeful than he could ever be, prepare yourself for the clergyman or woman will attack you for bringing your evil into their church. If you survive their blind rage, take the rosary from their neck and hold it close, but never wear it. It seems to glow with a balance of light and darkness. The rosary is object 435 or 538. Prayer does not keep them from watching your every move.